Hello and welcome to The Mended Drum. This is The Countdown, the show in which we count down five notable, factual, or weird things from pop culture history. This week, five bars from science fictional fantasy that we'd actually like to have a drink in. Now, obviously, this is a topic that's uh, close to our hearts. The channel is, after all, named after a legendary fantasy bar. Not one we'd like to have a drink in, though. If you've read Sir Terry Pratchett's works, you'll know that the Mended Drum and its previous iteration, the Broken Drum, were basically the unfriendliest places in Ankh Morpork, which was itself a pretty unfriendly place to begin with. So, these are five bars that would actually make the cut. Five places where you'd love to kick back, have a drink, and watch the action. Let's get on with it. Honourable Mentions The Mudders Pub in Firefly Higgins Moon on Firefly is a pretty awful place. The populace, most usually called mudders, mine ceramic making mud all day and drink away their sorrows in a local pub on a vile, potent substance known as mudders milk all night. This bar shouldn't be close to the list, except that boy do the locals know how to party. While I'm pretty sure I'd never be hailed as some kind of returning Robin Hood by the mudders, I'm also pretty sure that the crack would be worth a trip. Then there's the Moz Isley Cantina. It's basically the quintessential sci-fi bar packed with aliens and a ripping jazz band. Moz Isley Cantina could be solidly on the list if it wasn't also located in Moz Isley, the galaxy's most famous wretched hive of scum and villainy. It's the kind of place in which people shoot first, ask questions later, and never prosecute the surviving gunman. Never mind the fact that they don't serve droids. Unless you are extremely open-minded, it's also the only place worse for finding a life partner than Tinder. Number 5. The Inn of the World's End. Neil Gaiman's Sandman. The World's End is an inn located at the end of all worlds. It exists between realms and separate from time and space. Travelers are welcome to stay as long as they wish, and the tradition is that they take time to tell a story. Populated by everyone from characters in history, to myths, legends and vampires, to pirates, adventurers, ghosts and in one instance a monkey with a fez, the world's end is said to have infinite rooms and looks different to every guest. The stories are all legendary, the drinks flow and to top it off, if you look outside the window, you'll see the funeral procession for the Sandman Morpheus himself, even though it's technically yet to happen. Number 4. Quarks. Star Trek DS9. While 10 Forward, the bar in The Next Generation, is a quiet and refined place, Star Trek DS9's Quarks, or to give it its full name, Quarks Bar, Grill, Gaming House and Hollow Sweet Arcade, is a lively adventure-filled rumble filled with merriment, dodgy backroom deals and fantasy fulfillment. Run by the unscrupulous Quark, this is the Star Trek bar you'd actually want to drink in. Multiple levels of muted lighting, an endless menu of food and drinks, and of course the infamous hollow sweets, Quark's was ideal for a party. It was also ideal, apparently, for Worf and Judzia to get married there. Pay attention though, a small sign above the main entrance warns, the establishment is not responsible for the loss of any personal items. Number 3. Milliways, or the restaurant at the end of the universe, from the Hitchhiker's Guide. Ladies and gentlemen, the universe as we know it has now been in existence for over 170,000 million billion years and will be ending in little over half an hour. So welcome one and all to Milliways, the restaurant at the end of the universe. So spoke Max Quadlepleen when introducing the place. This five-star establishment has some of the most staggeringly over-the-top decor ever seen a variety of the strangest guests from throughout history, and serves a particularly fine pan-galactic goggle blaster. Its main attraction, though, is that it will let you witness the nab-gib, or Big Bang in reverse, just before dessert. Number 2. The Green Dragon, from the Lord of the Rings. Tucked away in Bywater, the heart of the idyllic shire, just one mile from the bridge that leads to Bag End, the Green Dragon is the quintessential country pub, Filled with grumbling old drunks and singing, laughing youths too deep in their cups, the place just exudes peace, camaraderie and good times. The excellent local beers are served year-round from the worn oak bar that echoes with history. A roaring log fire keeps drinkers warm in the winter, guaranteeing that as long as you are prepared to crouch to enter the door, you will always find a second home here. Plus, there's always the chance you get to go home with a hobbit. 
number one, the Inn of the Last Home from Dragonlance. Built high in the branches of the great Valenwood tree in Solace, the Inn of the Last Home has stood for hundreds of years. Going through various stages of decay and rebirth, the Inn even spent some time on the ground during the War of the Lands, and was knocked out of the tree again during the Dragon Purge. Now, once again standing shiny, clean and homely back in the Valenwood, the Inn of the Last Home offers splendid views, excellent dark ale and famous spiced potatoes. The Inn was one time home to the Heroes of the Lands, and its storied history forms as much of its character as the Valenwood supported walls. Basically, it's the perfect pub, as long as you ignore the whole falling out of a tree after one too many thing. So those are the bars. Are there any that you think that we missed out? Any absolute classics that, that definitely should have been on the list? If there are, let us know in the comments. And in the meantime, if you agree or if you disagree, why not? Let's be crazy. Click the like, subscribe and share button and tell your friends about the channel. We're coming back with a new countdown video every Friday night. So do join us at the next one.